Welcome everyone to Magruder High School's Class of 2017 graduation ceremony. Firstly, I'd like to thank all of our friends, families, and educators for backing us throughout these years and guiding us on our way to this monumental moment in our lives. You can be seated. <laughs> you can be seated. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would probably, oh, oh, that's so funny. You said this so I don't think that was right. No, but I mean. No, whatever. Oh well. Right? <laughs> All right. Without your love and support, we would not be the class we are today. And I thank you for this. Class of 2017, we made it. <laughs> Let's go! This is the last time we'll be together before we part our ways in finding our new homes elsewhere. Although it's bittersweet, we have made great memories and great friends along the way. I know I'll never forget uh, the feeling of winning float junior year or how intense battle the classes can get. This year got kind of interesting. <laughs> Although today marks the end of four blissful years of high school, it also marks a beginning filled with unlimited opportunities. Today is a day to celebrate our accomplishments and take a big leap into the future. Listen carefully to the messages that you're presented with today as I hope they inspire and encourage you to help you embark on your own journey for the rest of your life. Now let's get on with graduation. Ms. Baglica, our class sponsor, has led the students of the class of 2017 throughout our time at Magruder. She's constantly gone the extra mile to ensure that our class is always productive and successful, whether it be during our floats, officer meetings, senior banquet, prom, or even to this final day of graduation. As a guidance counselor, she has additionally connected and advised students throughout their crucial times at Magruder, and especially during our senior years. It is my great pleasure and honor to introduce our caring, hardworking class sponsor, Ms. Baglica. Good morning and congratulations class of 2017. 
For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tara Veglika, and I've had the unique privilege of sponsoring the class for the past three years. As a counselor, I'm generally confined to working with students who are assigned to my caseload. In the past, if your last name did not begin with the letters NG through SAN, there was a high probability I didn't know who you were. Shortly after I joined the Magruder community three years ago, I decided I wanted to branch out, get involved, and meet the rest of the alphabet. Little did I know that would involve spending Saturday afternoons studying stuffing tissue paper into chicken wire, attending the duo awards, having nightmares about being in a boy band, and dealing with teenage drama of the Greek gods. The best way to describe float is through a common Vaglikaism. It's like, it was like herding cats with water. If my goal was to meet the rest of the alphabet, goal achieved. What I didn't consider while setting this goal was the increased traffic through my office. I have spent countless hours over the past three years attempting to kick students out. Get out are hands down the most common two words out of my mouth on a daily basis. While I understand this may not be ideal for a school counselor, when your office has the best lighting for selfies, things can get a bit crowded. After each failed attempt at getting them to return to class, these seniors have reminded me that I will miss them next year. To that, I say two things. One, I can't miss you till you're gone. And two, you are absolutely correct. This class and their families will always hold a special place in my heart. It has truly been my privilege getting to know you and watching you grow into adults. Despite all of your attempts to convince me otherwise, I am confident that you will go on to achieve great things. So for the last time, I am telling you, get out. Get out and see the world. Get out and embrace challenge. Get out and take risks. Get out and make a change. The next few years of your life will no doubt be exciting, challenging, and hopefully inspiring. Know that my door will always remain open should you choose to return, but know that I always will kick you out.
In the quiet misty morning, when the moon has gone to bed, when the sparrows stop their singing, Ladies and gentlemen, prior to the start of this program, I ask that everyone give this class respect. There, an awful lot of hard work has gone into reaching this point from them and in preparation to honor them. I would greatly appreciate it if you would give them the respect that they deserve and hold all the calls until you get home. Thank you. I really think this last one should be from the heart. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, uh, I would first like to thank everyone that got us here. So on my count, can the graduating class of 2017 say thank you with me? Three, two, one. Thank you. Teachers, parents, administrators, and mentors, that was for you guys. None of us would be here today without your tireless commitment to help us become better people. I can't believe this is all coming to a bittersweet end. More sweet than bitter for some, but a remarkable achievement nonetheless. It's difficult to put into words how it feels to be wearing this here right now. The first time we sat all together like this was for freshman orientation, and now the last time we'll be sitting together like this is for our graduation. How did the last four years fly by so quickly? Only a fine scholar, freshly picked from academia, would know how to put this phenomenon into words, and luckily I found those words uttered by Ferris Bueller himself. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. During your life at Magruder, I hope you found the time to stop and look around. I hope the last four years were good to you, and I hope you've been inspired along the way. Many people refer to high school as the greatest four years of their life, but it's okay if they're not yours. Be patient and worry not, for there are many more years ahead of you. And those days ahead, hold fast to what you've learned together, because blaming mistakes on being young and dumb is not something this class will be able to do. It's okay to fall down sometimes, but don't oversee the power of thoughtful decision making and remember to learn from your wins as well as your losses. I'm lucky to have been surrounded by some of the most amazing people. You are truly a class of trailblazers. You, my friends, have shown that no obstacle is too high to scale and that there are no dead ends in life. Minor setbacks will always lead to major comebacks is something that we've always said as a class. Our time as Magruder students has prepared us to make history as Magruder alumni. God bless the class of 2017. I'm so proud of you and we made it. The Magruder class of 2017 would like to recognize the outstanding support and work done by our class administrator, Mrs. Coleman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has attended so many senior events and activities, reassuring us of her brilliant foundation of encouragement. She has become a go-to for advice and conversation. Her leadership and guidance will reflect on all of us, always. Speaking on behalf of the Magruder class of 2017, we thank you, Mrs. Coleman. Thank you. 
Good morning. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our, introduce our 2017 commencement speaker. A natural at wrestling since the age of seven, she attended Magruder High School for three years where she made the varsity wrestling team as a freshman and finished her Magruder wrestling career with a record of 99 and 27. Since then, she has blazed a path of, of her own as a 2015 world champion, 2014 world bronze medalist, a 2012 world silver medalist, and her most recent accomplishment being a 2016 gold medal winner at the Rio Olympics. As the first ever female wrestler to win a gold medal in freestyle wrestling, she continues to be an ambassador for the sport, inspiring wrestlers of all ages to be their best. She has clearly proven that hard work, dedication, and persistence pays off. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Ms. Helen Maroulis. Wow. First, uh, what an honor it is to be here today with all of you. I'm so proud to have come through the Magruder High School system, and I'd just like to give a big shout out to the faculty and staff who work so hard to empower and equip students for a better future. I'm thankful for my years at Magruder as they contributed greatly to the person I became and the success I reached later along in life. Now, I think it's safe to say that being extremely competitive is in my DNA. So of course, when I was asked to speak here today, I decided I want to work hard and come up with the best speech ever. But then I had to pause and humble myself. I began to ask myself some very important questions. What lessons did I learn that have changed my life? What was it that I needed to hear all these years ago when I was sitting exactly where you all sit today? And what encouraged me along in the journey, in my own personal journey that I can share with you now? So from these questions and a lot of reflection is where I developed the basis of my speech. So I'm going to stick to my strengths and speak to you guys today simply as a teammate. Why? Well, because you all actually are my teammates. You may not realize this, but you are all wrestlers. <clears throat> yes, we are all wrestlers. You heard correctly. We have all wrestled with something at some point in our lives. Some of us may have wrestled with doubts, fears, insecurities, or pushing through the semester to hit the mark. Some of you may have wrestled with temptations or life changes or setbacks and I know all of you have wrestled with emotions. So while it's a great day to be celebrating now, uh, I'm sure we can all think back to the last couple months and years and how hard they may have been at times. And I get that. So I commend you all for making it here today. Lastly, all of us being wrestlers, it's also understood that we can all say with certainty that we understand what it's like to have had failures. We've all failed at some point in our lives. And since we've all failed at some point, each of us probably also knows that failure isn't even the worst thing that happens to you. What's worse than failure is then having to deal with the failure <laughs> because you have to wrestle with that failure and get past it. After the initial shock, you have to analyze why it happened and how you can prevent it from happening again. Or then we may even ask ourselves, do we even want to try for this again? I know today is a celebration, but it's on days like this where we come to celebrate our successes that it's also important to reflect back on all the obstacles we had to overcome to arrive at this destination. It makes it that much sweeter to enjoy now as well. Maybe there were instances you felt like you failed as a student, as an athlete, an artist, as a friend, or maybe even a person who failed to forgive a friend, who knows. The point is, we've all had life confront us with the reality that we're all human and we will all fail. So believe me, I realize my speech may be really depressing at this point and it seems like I'm not being a very good teammate 
right now because I'm not cheering you guys on or telling you to go out and conquer the world. Uh, the truth is, I'm not being motivated and right, motivating right now because you guys don't need motivation. I mean, look at you all, here today in cap and gown. You guys all look remarkable. I can look out and I can see in your eyes that there's a hunger and a zest for life to go out and achieve great things. You guys are all achievers and you're more than conquerors. So I don't need to give you a pep talk. I can see that you've tasted success today and you are motivated to taste it again tomorrow. I won't stand here and motivate you all to dream big dreams either because I believe you already do. And I don't need to motivate you to be successful because like I said, you guys already are. What I would like to do is reminisce on the journey to success and just share some of the things that I learned along in my own personal journey of striving for an Olympic gold medal. I believe the true importance of it all lies in the process and not the outcome. So as wrestlers, we know how training works, right? We know that if you've trained and you figured out the formula for success once, you can figure it out for success again. So I start with talking about failures, not because I wanna kill the mood again, but because I believe it is not only one of the healthiest things you can experience, but when handled with the right attitude is absolutely necessary to any future success we may ever hope to achieve. Because how many of us know that when we set new goals, we always like to plan to achieve it according to the way we think it should go? We imagine this best case scenario, or even when we try to predict what trials may lay ahead, sometimes we miscalculate. We thought we knew how it was going to look, but then we're surprised. <laughs> you may not know this about me, but one of the hardest things about winning the Olympics was first just making weight. <laughs> I cut around 30 pounds to fit into the 116 pound weight class. I sought to do it in the healthiest way possible. And I truly thought that I knew how the journey was gonna look. And I believe that the hardest thing was just going to be that I had to eat, that I was only allowed to eat chicken and spinach for a year straight. And what I discovered was that actually wasn't the hardest part though. The hardest part wasn't what I ate, it was being surprised with the challenge of having to fill the other 20 hours of the day without eating anything else or thinking about food. So I don't think we can speak on the subject of success more than on the subject of failure when both are equally so important. And I don't just wanna to talk to you about success and failure, I want to change your view on it. What I've learned through my career is that oftentimes you can't really ever figure out which is the failure and which is the success. In 2012, I wanted to make the Olympic team. I had qualified the weight at the World Championships the year before. I hadn't lost to an American girl in over a year and I was heavily favored to win, but I didn't. And it was devastating. It goes on my record as a loss. It counts as a failure. But if I hadn't failed so tremendously in 2012, I would not have made the changes I needed to in my life the second time around. I would not have been as hungry for the win the next four years. I would not have been as cautious to check and see if I was doing the right things I wouldn't have searched every part of my life and asked myself what needs to be sacrificed in order just to give myself a slightly better shot at it the second time around. Had I not made the team in 2012, I would have spent the past four years as an Olympian. Or had I made the team in 2012, I would have spent the past four years as an Olympian. And maybe I would have put my identity in that. And maybe I might not have struggled with self-confidence the way that I did from losing that I needed to in order to get to the place that I was when I won in 2016. So for me, failing in 2012 was a huge part of my success in 2016. I believe 1,000% that the one wouldn't have happened without the other. Likewise in life, we may think something is a success or a failure, when in fact it may sort of be both. I mean, you all now succeed at being graduates, but you fail at being current high school students. So, <laughs> while I'm honored to be speaking to you today as an Olympic champion, I really just wanna talk to you as your teammate, Helen. We live in a world where we're only shown the final product and not the mess of the process. And we don't stress how important that process is either. If you Google my name, you'll see a video of me beating a legend, a three-time Olympic champion, a 16-time world champion from Japan who had never lost a match at the World Olympics in her entire career. You will not find anywhere on the internet, however, a video compilation of every day of my training leading up to the Olympics, where I failed daily at every task at hand. You will not see the amount of times I felt inadequate or wanted to quit because I thought I just didn't have it in me. I didn't win because I finally perfected a move. The moves I hit were still a work in progress when I hit them. Likewise, I was still a work in progress when the gold medal was draped over my neck. I won with all my strengths and all my weaknesses as well. So I'm not here today to hype you up and say, I set my dream to win the Olympics and I did and you can achieve your dreams too. I'm here to say, 
let's keep it real and not compare our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. You are starting a new chapter in your lives and new goals lay ahead. It will be messy at times, it will be hard, but don't quit. Even if it looks like there's no chance, remember to walk by faith and not by sight. I remind you on this successful day of your failures and how important they were to shaping who, who you are and who you have become in this moment. An amazing accomplishment. And when you set your new dream, which you will, and when you set out for your next goal and you meet failures along the way, which inevitably you will, I want you to remember this moment, this victory, that you stayed the course, that you completed the task, that you succeeded, and remember that if you can do it once, you can do it again. I'm often asked about my favorite moment of the Olympic Games, and I can honestly say that my favorite moment of the Olympics was before the day even started, because when I woke up, I truly felt that I was a champion, whether I won or lost. I felt that I'd put in all the work, and so I had nothing to regret, and to me that was success. I've also been asked what my favorite moment in life is, and many people assume it's winning a gold medal, right? No. <laughs> is it wrestling when I really feel happiest? Well, not really, because sometimes the journey gets hard or lonely. Is it when I'm with my family? Well, not all the time, because sometimes they annoy me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love my parents, and they're here today, actually, and so I just have to give them a huge shout out, because none of this would have been possible in my life without their love and support. But to answer the question, I responded, it's not an event or an accomplishment that's made me most happy in my life, but a state of mind. To me, being a champion is not about successes or failures because it is not an event. It's the joy in knowing that I have a purpose, that I have a passion, and that I always have something to be thankful for. I'm told that being Olympic champion is something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. And yes, while that is true and exciting, it always makes me think about something more. I won on August 18th, and that day has probably been discussed or gets brought up more than anything else. What made me an Olympic champion wasn't August 18th, though. It wasn't the medal draped around my neck. It was the culmination of everything I did day in and day out years before that. It was the daily failures as well as the daily successes that led to me being able to win a medal that day. To illustrate this, I'd just like to read what I journaled two days before I competed at the Olympic Games. So I've kept a daily journal over the years throughout my career. I write about my training and my wrestling, and I also write about life and the struggles or the lessons that I learn. But I specifically remember this day because I remember thinking that I absolutely have to write this down for myself before I compete. So here's what I wrote two days before wrestling at the Olympics. I haven't said it yet, maybe because I'm always focusing on what I can do better, but I need to say it right now. I am very proud of myself. I'm proud for accepting every battle and challenge. I never knew if I was destined to be a warrior. I often didn't have the confidence, but I was always game for the try. I'm afraid of a lot of things, but not when it came to a challenge I felt like God placed me in. Somehow I never quit wrestling. Somehow I kept stepping back on the mat. With what little faith and trust I had, I saw God completely transform my mind, giving me probably the most unconventional way to have confidence. That in order to give my all, I must first surrender it all. Every match, every prideful thought, lusting after a gold medal, I've surrendered that to God. He's got me, I know this. I'm proud of myself now, and I will be proud of myself come August 19th. When all is said and done, I will hug my family, I will thank my coaches, and I will cry tears of joy, because I know God will have given me the desires of my heart, because he already has. The Olympics is one day, a gold medal around my, la my neck lasts only for one moment, and doesn't promise me anything for my future. But through all this, God's given me strength for future battles, struggles to know how to be compassionate with others, peace in times of anxiety, a renewed mind when I couldn't fix my focus, and contentment as a reminder that I know what it's like to have and to not have. These tools, these desires of my heart through the Spirit are my reward. They will serve me in life a lot longer and better than any medal. I am free from fear. I am free to compete with joy come August 18th. So while you... So while, you are here to celebrate, while we're here to celebrate where you are today, I'm here to remind you of the challenges that will begin tomorrow. The long road ahead, be, and the long road ahead, because I'm also encouraging you to set big goals for yourself. I want to be real with you about how the journey will look, and to remind you not to get discouraged when it gets too hard, and not to get complacent when it seems easy. Like I said, I can see you are all motivated to do great things and achieve big dreams. So let me leave you with this. Don't just decide what it is you want to do. Define your why. 
Why are you doing something, and who do you want to become in the process? You all have experienced both failure and success, so the journey ahead is not going to be entirely new to you. You've had it explained who I am, I've been introduced as an Olympic gold medalist, but now I've shared with you what that actually means to me and what my, my why is. I wrestled to become the best person I can be. I wrestled to find success and victories, not just on the mat, but more importantly, in myself as a person. So I leave you with a quote. I've never met anyone who doesn't want to be successful, but very few people have actually spelled out success for themselves. We inherit a definition from others or adopt a cultural definition, but if you don't spell it out for yourself, you will have no way of knowing if you've ever achieved it. You might achieve your goals only to realize they should not have been your goals in the first place. Congratulations on your success today. Good luck on your new journey tomorrow and a future congratulations on all the success that lies ahead of you. Pick your goal, know who you are, be prepared for the battle and enjoy the ride. Thank you. heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn. And we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them. And we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a string that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, I have been changed for good. It will maybe that we will never I knew you, I, I have been changed, changed for, for good. good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share. And, and none, none of it, it seems to matter anymore. Like a stream that meets like a boulder Halfway through the wood Who can say if I've been changed for the better? I do believe I have been changed for the better And because I knew you 
Why, hello. <laughs> Magruder is truly something special. We have heart, integrity, and above all, we have character. None of this would be possible without our loving and hardworking principal. For the past four years, he has shown me that it is okay to be different. It is okay to show who you how you sparkle. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our esteemed principal, a friend, Mr. Leroy Evans. Hey, slow it down. I know what you're trying to do, and I'm not going to get emotional, okay? We went through this in practice, no. Brian, thank you for those wonderful, wonderful uh, remarks. And again, you were flawless. Students, class officers, staff, family, friends, and guests, welcome to this special day of recognition. I would like to begin by thanking our ushers Juniors, you've done a fantastic job in keeping everything under control. And the uh, junior ROTC cadets for the work that you've done in making this dignified. And certainly our musicians for making this such a special, special occasion. You've done a fabulous job. You're so talented. I would also like to give special thanks to our honored guest, the Honorable Rebecca Slimdrowski, member of the Board of Education. Dr. Maria Navarro, Chief Academic Officer. <laughs> Mr. Sherwin Collette, Associate Superintendent for the Office of Employee Engagement and Labor Relations. <laughs> and the Director of School Support and Improvement, Dr. Deborah Monk. <laughs> I want to especially thank Helen Marulas. Magruder Colonel, Olympic champion, for your inspiring remarks and message to our students. Many of us didn't want to see you leave. However, we understood that you had to fulfill your dream. Now we celebrate your triumphant return, achieving your goal, realizing your dream, and making history in the process. I remember this ninth grade girl in wrestling practice. Her coach, Max Sartoff, said to me, you got to come down to practice and you've got to see this. I never thought, I knew you were a winner, especially when no one wanted to wrestle you after the first match. You are a great example of how to sacrifice to reach your goals in life. And the Magruder community is so very proud of everything that you've done. Now I would like to thank members of the Magruder administrative team. Mrs. Coleman, the 12th grade administrator, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Hudson, I want to thank you. I'd also like to thank Mr. Douglas and Ms. Offit, who could not be here today. We, we are pleased to have with us the principals of the Magruder Cluster Schools who've come to honor their former students. In our cluster, we believe that education is a pre-K through 12 endeavor, and all of us are committed to that. I ask that each principal stand to be recognized for your outstanding leadership and commitment to academic excellence and social equity. Mr. Everett Davis, Redland Middle School. <laughs> Mr. Edward Owusu, Shady Grove Middle School.
Miss Natasha Bolden, Mill Creek Town Elementary School. Dr. Linda Shepard, Candlewood Elementary School. Mr. Lamar Whitmore, Flower Hill Elementary School. Ms. Trish, Trisha Thomas Resnick Elementary School. Dr. Bobby Jasper Sequoia Elementary School. And Mr. Antonio Scott Cashel Elementary School. Ms. Fablica is our class sponsor for 2017. I want to thank you so very much for dedicating all of your time and commitment and your energy for these students we are honoring here today. You did an exceptional job, so thank you. This day would not be possible without our graduation coordinator and media specialist, Mrs. Stephanie Schwinn. I want to tell you, I've noticed every minute that you put in to making this a successful, a dignified, a very special moment, and for taking all the weight off of me. So thank you. Finally, I want to thank this wonderful faculty and staff for being here today to congratulate the students that you have dedicated yourselves to educating these past four years. You have done a sensational job in so many ways. And since I'm already standing, I'm going to give you a standing ovation. <laughs> this is such a high achieving group of students that make up the class of 2017. Look in your program at the pages of scholarships. In fact, they were awarded over $12,900,000 in scholarship. We have a tradition at Magruder High School of sitting a row of honor. These are students who have reached the highest levels of academic achievement and recognition. So please stand and be proud when I call your group. National Merit Scholars Commended. <laughs> Governor's Merit Scholars Scholastic Award winners. <laughs> National Honor Society. <laughs> Peak Scholars. And I would also like to recognize our newest group, the Principal Scholars. Thank you. I wanted to let you know, I just want to give you a little bit of exercise. It is indeed an honor to stand before you in celebration of your achievements, your sacrifice, in order to embrace academic rigor. I am very fortunate to have spent the time watching you grow and develop. I know you have strong fund a strong foundation that will allow you to take your place in this world of challenge and change. As an observer, I witnessed many of your achievements, some of which I mentioned earlier. It was very, very difficult to select a few of these to highlight. But I thought and thought about this, and I know that I've said this, if you attended last year's graduation, I remember what I said about that graduating class being the best class. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I know you think every year I say that this class is the best class. Stay with me on this. However, you are special and the best in so many ways. And I want to share a few things that will help explain why I found you to be so exceptional. Realizing this would be difficult, 
I decided to pull something out of the blue. I mean, literally, out of the blue. For those of you who don't know, this is our uh, 2017 yearbook, The Blue. So I'm going to pull a few things out of the blue, but before I do, I, uh, I should have asked permission beforehand, but Rank has his privileges. I'd like to thank Andy Chen, Megan Russo, Sarah Lozier, and Jack Manella. I hope you don't mind me using your work to make my case for what I think you, why I think you are an exceptional and outstanding class. First, okay, this is, and I really mean this, you know I've been there and watched all of these grow, this is the best yearbook, cover to cover, I've ever seen at any school. And I want to thank those senior editors. I also want to thank Ms. Pat Keeker. If you just stand, in the back, thank you. Second, you had the best prom, bar none. You were the best dressed, you were the best dancers, and you were the best behaved. And if that wasn't enough, first time ever, you had the grade level administrator dancing. I, and I have a picture of that. Thirdly, the excellent plays, excellent concerts, and the role of the seniors, you, was very prominent. You made a difference. Academically, many of you were on the honor roll with high GPAs. 74 of you made the principal scholars taking at least five AP classes and the exams. Many of you took as many as eight classes and the exams. This translates into something very special in the future. And this is a snapshot, I believe, of what could be things to come for the future. I don't have a crystal ball, but I do have some thoughts. So stay with me on this. And this is not like a senior superlative list. This is just what I've seen and what I believe. Andy Chen, Princeton graduate, former president of the student SGA at Colonel Zadok Maguda High School, the first Asian American president. President. And speaking of politics, Evan Peace, future president, future president of Morehouse College. Evan spent more time accepting awards and speaking with the Montgomery County Council, County Council and the Board of Education members than they spent with themselves. <laughs> Catherine Ortega. Posse Scholarship winner, Harvard Book Club winner, received her award at the prestigious Jones Day Law Firm in the shadow of the Capitol building. I remember attending this ceremony one Saturday morning early. It was worth it. And after 24 hours of trying to find a parking space, I made it. And Catherine, I know, I really believe this, you're gonna have an office in one of those buildings. All I ask is that I have a parking space. <laughs> Chris, and they agree with me. Chris Rose, Ragusa High School, John Philip Sousa Award winner, MCPS Senior Band, Honor, Honors Band, MCPS Honors Jazz Ensemble. I will be a little disappointed if I do not receive complimentary tickets, it's two tickets, for your first Kennedy Center concert. <laughs> Christian Giffen, Griffin, all state and all Eastern course in the same year. Another set of complimentary tickets to your first and second Broadway musicals.
Jermaine Douglas, I will not forget the promise you made to me in front of your mother to give me a job in your clothing company when I retire. And I know you've got a website, okay? Already started. But after looking and reviewing the last two years, I think I deserve my own clothing line. And if he forgets, Ben Hawkins, when you become the president of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, I want you to remember, education is my field. Now, sometimes you just learn things, and I learned a lot from you. But there's one special situation where I really learned something. Brian Bowler, your growth and development as a student athlete has been amazing. I remember in the 10th grade, I said, Brian, you got to lead. You have to take charge. Not a basketball charge, but leadership. Okay? In the 10th grade, remember, Brian, leadership. In 11th grade, Brian, lead. In the 12th grade, this is your year. This is your team. You've got to take charge. He just looked at me. By this time, he had grown to be 6'5". I just looked up and said, never mind. <laughs> In the four years that I've interacted with Brian, he hadn't said five words. I'm still waiting. Anybody here that heard him say five, more than five words at one time, raise your hand. There you go. But I remember the first time I saw one of Brian's ferocious dunk. I didn't know he could get up that high. And I won't say what team it was, but I remember that because I was under the basket, not on the floor, but I was on the, under the basket. And I, after he made this dunk, I saw the look in his eye. I thought he was looking at me. And that look said, now you know, actions speak louder than words. I get it. Finally, Finally, Rookie of the Year in the Drama Club and basketball captain, Corey Elliott. This is, this is so special. He and his brother wrote the only rap song that I like. One, it happened to be about me. You, most of you heard it. It went viral. I mean, I, people were coming up to me, did you know they had a rap song about you? I said, yes, I know, I heard it, you know. What can I say? But Corey, I'm gonna tell you, if you make any money from this, I expect a donation to Colonel Zadok Magruder High School in my name. I could go on and on about this, but I won't because we don't have enough time. However, I would like to say, your greatest achievements are some things that you can't easily see is the work you've done as role models for other students in Magruder and throughout our cluster schools. You will long be remembered for the work that you've done in the area of the human arena and with your hearts and spirit. However, now is the time to focus on your new journey and your new challenge. So in closing, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite poems by an anonymous writer. It's called Keymakers. The poem provides for me a picture of the character you have developed and the image you will leave behind as a result of your time at Magruder High School. Some people see a door close and turn away. Others see a door close and try the knob. If it doesn't open, they turn away. Still others see a closed door and try the knob, and if it doesn't open, they, they find the key. If the key doesn't fit, they turn away. A rare few, a rare few see a closed door, try the knob, if it doesn't open, they find the key. If the key doesn't fit, they make one. I, I encourage all of you to find a way to make a key that will unlock the doors 
that will allow you to continue to, to be a factor, to be relevant, and to make the world a better place for all of us to live. So on behalf of your Magruder High School family, I wish you the very best that life has to offer, and we are counting on you to be the challenge and the change, to meet the challenge and be the change the world needs. Congratulations from all of us. Thank you. Mrs. Rebecca Stromdrowski was elected to her second four-year term on November 8, 2016. She is chair of the board's committee on special populations and a member of the policy management committee. She serves as the ex officio to the Domestic Violence Coordinating Council. Prior to joining the board, Mrs. Stromdrowski served as the legislative aide for Maryland State Senator Roger Mano and was an active local and county PTA leader. She has served on the Montgomery County Council of Parent Teacher Association's Board of Directors, including positions as the Vice President for Legislation, Vice President for Programs, Chair of the Curriculum Committee, Quince Orchard Cluster Coordinator, and MCC PTA's representative to the Montgomery County Public Schools K-12 Mathematics Joint Task Force. She serves as a member of the Maryland Association of Boards of Education's Nominating Committee as well as the alternative for MABE's Legislative Committee. Mrs. Stromdrowski was reappointed as a commissioner for the City of Gaithersburg Ethics Commission in January 2015. She also serves on the Board of Trustees for FutureLink and the Board of Directors for the MCPS Educational Foundation. Mrs. Stromdrowski is married with two children, an MCPS graduate, and one who is currently attending the Montgomery County Public Schools. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Rebecca Stromdrowski. She makes me sound busy. <laughs> Good morning, Magruder. One of the most exciting and certainly one of my favorite parts of being on the Board of Education is officiating at graduations. And on behalf of my colleagues and our superintendent, I would like to offer you our sincerest congratulations. We are very proud of you. There's never enough time to say everything I would like, especially since I'm basically all that stands between you and your after parties, I mean diplomas. But I do want to start off by acknowledging how amazing this Magruder community is. I had the pleasure of meeting with your senior class uh, government, and um, all I can say is, wow. You are unique. You are full of drive, individuality, and loyalty. You are diverse and independent. But even though one day you'll see Emily Harrington becoming a rich and famous star, woo! <laughs> or Brian on Broadway, clearly, or Fatima flying her plane on her way to destination unknown, she's a pilot, can you believe that? One thing will always be for sure, you are Magruder forever. At MCPS, we know that the positive culture of a school isn't something that happens by accident. Mr. Evans, cluster principals, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get this right, <laughs> Miss Vaglika, and all of the rest of our amazing staff, you are the key part of what makes our system great for everything that you all have done and continue to do on behalf of MCPS, our students and parents here today I thank you. So thank you all. Are you excited, graduates? Yeah? Every year I struggle to come up with a graduation speech that I hope will amuse and inspire our graduates while leaving them with a little guidance. But recently I was at an event and heard a poem that in my opinion embraces everything I believe today stands for. And so this year I decided to share that with you. I've done some research and come up with mixed answers as to who wrote it, so I'm just gonna go with unknown. It goes like this. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but think you can't, it's almost certain that you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost, for out of this world we find 
Success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but soon or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. After today, I implore each of you to dream big, aim high, take chances. You'll make mistakes, but don't get discouraged. Try, and if you don't succeed, try again. Change your mind and be brave. And most importantly, as you go out into this complicated and sometimes crazy world, I hope you'll always remember, when in doubt, if you are doing something you wouldn't be proud to tell your parents about, probably shouldn't be doing it. You're graduating from an incredible school with a strong community, and everything you have gone through to get you to this day will allow you to take advantage of the opportunities that wait before you now. Whether you are off to work, college, or the military, the culture of your school has shaped you into the people that you are. You've worked hard to build a solid foundation that will support your choices for the rest of your life. You've faced and conquered academic challenges that have given you the tools to craft a lifetime of learning and losses that have brought you closer together. You've participated in homecoming activities and talent shows, yearbooks and the theater, spirit weeks and STEM days, and maybe even dodged a ball or two. You've participated in clubs, sports, and arts activities that have sparked your passions. And all of these things have taught you the importance of living every day to the fullest and being there for each other. So as you celebrate this milestone, I hope you will all remember what you have learned and experienced here at Magruder and throughout your school years. You made it. Are you ready to graduate officially? Yeah? Mr. Evans, would you like to present to me your class? Ms. Swandrowski, on behalf of the Marigula High School faculty and staff, I recommend to you the class of 2017 as qualified candidates for the Maryland State Department of Education Diploma. Well, with that said then, by the virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Education of Montgomery County, under the laws of the state of Maryland, I do now award diplomas or certificates evidencing the satisfactory completion of prescribed courses of study to the students of Colonel Zadok Magruder High School who are recommended for graduation by the faculty of this school. In receiving this diploma or certificate, each of you is entitled to all of the privileges and honors accorded graduates of a high school accredited by the Maryland State Department of Education. Congratulations, you have graduated. Cecilia Adams. Jonathan Backley. Fazia Bonavai. Owen Bifferetti. Julian Boyce. Andy Chen. Joyce Chung. Brendan Chung, Emily Dobrakowski, Daniel Domingos, Thorin Erb, Erica Fagans, Christina Griffin, Benjamin Hawkins. 
David Holovac. Mitchell Holdsworth. Joella Huynh. Ashley Law. Valerie Lehman. Yutong Liang. Flosha Liana. Sarah Lozier. Kira Malone. Catherine Ortega. Catherine Rempe. Remington Rowe. Claire Redkowski. Ryan Sears. Grayson Shiflett. Teresa Stabler. Fiona Stevenson. Eunice Sung. Yangong Trong. Alejandra Villagran. Kurt Wilson. Harshan Graywell. Zane Abedin. Raka Adam. Faith Ajasal Provencal. Naaman Ala Jaji. Clarissa Alarcon. Kimberly Albinus. Muhammad Ali. Fatima Alvarado. Gerardo Amaya. Pablo Amaya. Yesenia Amaya. Eugenia Empia Addison. Quinton Andrews. Leticia Atunis Spindola. Daniel On. Jocelyn Aparicio Oriana. Jesus Arces Guerra. Nicholas Argauer. Oscar Argeta Lasso. A nice Asatorian. Edgar Adon. Audrey Iris Calle. Renique Barrett. Charles Baralt. Zara Batul. Armina Begum. Avery Biggers. Joseph Bird. Daniel Black. Diamond Blackman Buckle. Anna Grace Bladen. Brian Bollert. Charles Bowen. Pamela Briones Ortega. Cole Brown. Gerald Buchanan. Leonardo Butrago. Carmen Melissa Berger. Christian Bustillo. Asia Satamal. 
Carolina Calderon. Juan Carrasco Zavala. Agustin Castillo. Eileen Castillo. Christian Serrate Martinez. Jasmine Chan. Susan Chen. Jung Wan Choi. Gabriella Chopra. Zoe Clark. Quinton Coates. Hilberto Corral. Pascal Crawford. Jocelyn Cruz Caceres. Heather Curtis. Isaac Basti. Hameen Davis. China De Leon. Carlos Delgado Velasquez. Curtis Deng. Lexis Durr. Javier Diaz. Joel Diaz. Abigail Dickin. Jacob Dickin. Griffin Dotson. Diana Dorsey. Jermaine Douglas Jr. Kayla Durbala. Corey Elliott. Oh, yeah. Marina Esperanza. <laughs> Emmerich Espinosa. Zachary Evans. Matthew Fanna. Gerald Felipe. Mihai Fernandez. Antonio Fontan. Paul Frazier. Ferial Frilu. Daphne Galvez Carvajal. Patrick Gamboa. Estefanos Eshetu. Bonelli Gosep. Diana Garcia. Taina. Taina Garcia. This is Martinez. Martinez. Victor Garcia. Trent Goldblick. Gerson Gonzalez. Matthew Gordimer. Cassie Gossard. Okay. Jordan Green. Gabrielle. Gabrielle Griffith. Gross. Greg Gross. <laughs> Victoria Guardado. 
Brian Guinea. Soy Han Guac. James Jampo. Rebecca Harris. Jasmine Harrison. James Hazeman the third. Jose Hernandez. Duran Haywood. Michael Himmelfarb. <laughs> Boris Hunsu. Jacob Hughes. Dejeuner Jasper. <laughs> Madeline Jennings. <laughs> Nicholas Jingery. Sarah Johnson. Samore Johnson. Willie Johnson. Carter Junod. Mariella Keith. Spencer Keith. Evan Kellner, Mohammed Khan, Richard Kidder, Justin Kane, Chloe Kowalski, Andrew Krivitsky. Ashley Lainez. Kong Lam. Blessing Lowell. Tyler Lee. Aaron Lee. Dana Lee. Ronnie Lemus. Ziming Lin. Paola Liriano Arias. Alexa Lisama. Kimberly Loesa. Ashley Lomelli. Erica Lopez. Orinales Losada. Sadie Lule. Aisha Mabu. Jack Manella. Matthew Malik. Jeffrey Manuico Vargas. Emily Maroquin Barbary. Brittany Martin. Jackson Martinez. Sarah E. Martinez. Gabriella Mata. <laughs> Kathleen Matusik. <laughs> Rachel Mayer. <laughs> Kendall McClearnan. <laughs> Mariah McCreary. <laughs> Maria Mikola. Michaela McDaniel. <laughs> Catherine McDonough. Okay. 
Camille McKamey. Mariella Cherise Medina. Richard Miguel Medina. Christian Medrano Cruz. Brianna Meekins. Gautam Meta. Giovanni Melendez. Daryl Mellon. Josue Mendez Reyes. Jacqueline Mendoza Maldonado. Shay Merriam. Harrison Mesnard. Tony Miaudu. Rabia Monadine. Amy Montiero. Alejandra Moore. Sigfredo Moran. Alan Mundo. Jose Miguel Munoz. Evan Murphy. Paulo Nardone. Sven Narula. Karen Nassim. Dulce Neti Nete. Tierra Nubigin. Jeffrey Nagundo. Andrew Nguyen. Kimberly Nete. Hi, Christopher Nevera, Emily Nunez, Michael Nunez, Manella Niarco, Maggie O'Connor, Sue O, Javier. Ori Viegas, Jennifer Opelia, Diana Ordonez Tercio, Jack Owen, Janessa Osha, Amber Micah Padilla. Elizabeth Padilla. Ashan Pandu Wawala. Christian Pandu Wawala. Rajasho Parajuli. Jose Carlos Paredes Ochoa. Winfield Parker. Connor Parsons, Evan Peace, Lucas Perez, Jose Perez Gomez, Claude Perez Rodriguez, Essen Perzada, Michael Proctor Jr. Mahame Qureshi, Mariam Qureshi, Ali Rajput, Jacob Ralston, Benjamin Ramos, Tayona Ramsher, Nicholas Ratra, 
Ali Raza. Cambria Reddick. David Reed. Isabella DeLucia. Stephanie Reyes. Oscar Reyes. Jordan Robinson. Diana Rodriguez. Alicia Rodriguez Sorria. Evelyn Rodriguez Sorria. Brian Romero. Carolina Romero. Christopher Rose. Kelly Ruck. Andrea Rueda. Ashley Ruiz. Russo. Megan Russo. Sabatini. Benjamin Sabatini. Victoria Salah. Juan Salazar. Ikram Salomón Pasapera. Hannah Schramm. Danny Scott. Samir Samara. Samir Samara. Kekeli Sanaya. Alexis Serrano. Andrew Subert. Saren Sayum. Hadia Shahid. Sama Sheikh. Margot Sharp. Travis Sharp. <laughs> Harry Silva. Andre Sliven. Andrew Smetanka. Garrett Smith. Logan Solis. Ju Young Song. Izira Sukchai. Eduarda Sousa Diaz. Mikai Stevens Pruitt. Gabriel Stewart. Justin Taby. Salim Tayer, Jordan Talbert, Ekaterina Tao, Tendue Tembo, Ryan Thatch, Andres Torres Olmos. Angela Tran. Austin Truesdale. Caitlin Tementa. Fascinate Ture. Diamond Deshea Turner. Shimeri. Shimeri Ukwani. Jose Valiente Ruano. Evan Van Snick. Juan
Adrián Veloz Espinal. Daniel Villalobos. Lena Villanueva. Bianca Vivero. Kristen Walsh. Caitlin Wesley. Jamal Williams. Jalen Williams. Charlene Zamora. Diana Celaya Cabrera. Javier Serpa Medrano. Angel Alas. Melody Blanchard. Cheryl Hardawan. Danita Champion. Nashari Butts. Isley Del Rosario. Elizabeth Dorman. Grace Eshbaugh. Gabriela Lavi Herrera. Sydney Lewis. Sean Moriarty. Simeon Popov. Keyshawn Thacker. Fatima Syed Ali. Juliet McGuire. Brian Stopek. Natalie Wagner. Michael Vi. Brianna Newberg. Kenz Beryun. Emily Harrington. Morgan Ross. Should I go? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Is it working? <laughs> yeah, it is. Go. Okay. <laughs> Our past four years at Magruder have been full of good times and bad, but throughout these times we've had each other and we wouldn't change that for anything. We have been anticipating this moment for so long, so here it is. Please join us in the ceremonial turning of the tassel by turning your, ta your tassels from left to right. Ready? Ready? Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2017! 2017. 